male football clubs are really quite male dominated. Mm. So for 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 any female to come in, especially when you go and grab kids from wherever they are in the country, so I'm from nearly the most southern point of, of the country in Hobart, down near Rioli, from the Tiwi Islands, Morris Rioli from the Tiwi Islands, you go and grab them and, and you converge them all together, is that um, if there's a if a if a really powerful female comes into that room, there's there's an attraction to the like because you sort of you miss your family a little bit mm. and you miss your mum and then all of a sudden someone comes in and they've got great advice and you're like, oh, you are awesome. And and I think we had a real light bulb moment with that where we just had this. And at the time, I had no idea who Brené Brown was. We had this American lady come in with her son and talk about vulnerability and talk about life and and we were just in this state of flow where we were just accepting of everything we were just like oh give us more give us more give us more and this it just blew our minds and um you talk about that macho-ness of of afl footy and there is there's still elements of that now where it's like it's still a competition and and it's a combative sport and you go out and you want to win and and whatnot but we left um we, when uh, the game that Brené came along to, she came into the rooms after and we'd won. Um, and uh, a teammate of ours, Alex Rance, who was a very, very funny person, um, got up and sung um, sung a song to Brené. Um, um, there's a song called Bad, Bad, Leroy Brown. Um, and he sang it as bad, bad, like bad, bad Brené Brown and then made up these words up. This is, this is in a, a, a like, you know, post-game review. <laughs> 10 minutes after it and that was like all of a sudden we'd gone from the um the cauldron of the mcg to broadway in in the space of 10 minutes and we're getting brené brown was being serenaded by alex rant to the the bad bad leroy brown so it was um that was a bizarre moment but it was so funny it was just you know i look back on that and think like what what a what a what an amazing moment to happen um but happened organically that mm. was just like the permission and, and just be allowed to do that was so cool what do you think you know talking about vulnerability has been your most vulnerable moment in your footy career um i've had a few um oh you know i think it probably was the 10 seconds before I walked into the room to retire mm. because there's that acceptance of it's over. Um, yeah. And, and there's so many things that come along with, with playing footy that you become institutionalized. I mean, my, my life revolved around driving up Punt Road, driving home, driving up Punt Road, living on a schedule that was created for me, doing everything for performance, being extremely selfish about how I was preparing, but so driven that you 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 miss that you miss things that are going on in your life, um, and then all of a sudden you flick the switch and it's like it's literally one sentence. It's like my time has come. Mm. And as soon as you say that, the fireworks go off in your head. It's like, what am I going to do for a job next? Um, how am I going to earn money for my family? Um, where does where does this leave me? Like there's so many little fireworks that fire off and you start asking all these questions that, I mean, uh, that, that, that 10 seconds where I was by myself when my Carly and the kids had gone into the room, waiting for me to come in like that's that's pretty vulnerable i liken it to um and this is not footy related but the moment that you sit in um before you have a baby mm. whereas um so all our kids are, 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 are um, born from c-section and there's an element of um carly goes in and and gets um, prepped and there's a, the, the medical procedure they need to go to and you sit there as a as a father or expecting soon to be father and you sit in this small white room in scrubs with a red hat on and you sit there and you're like right 
what's happening in there? And you're like, you, you, no one comes in and you, you're there for 10 minutes or so. And you go through, think so many things go through your mind. That's, that's, that's vulnerability mm. there. That's not knowing. That's having the love of your love of your life in having surgery and having really like you're about to go on this life changing experience, but you're sitting there by yourself in this really cold, dark room, and you just don't know what to think. Mm. That's that's probably vulnerability for me. 